Hey, all of my Leo friends, and thank you for joining me here on Indigo Goddess 1111. I'm here today to do your July um, the 13th through the end of the month. These are channeled messages from Spirit, specifically um, in reference to the energy of the new moon in Cancer and the partial solar eclipse. Um, a lot of different energies. I'm sure you guys are feeling it. We're two days in and um, emotions are just, um, they're different. You can tell, you can feel it. Um, yeah, this is very important for Leos. And I'm going to tell you why. You guys, you are one of the very few zodiacs where this specific energy, this specific new moon and eclipse combination is purposely putting you on your life path, purposely putting you on the fast track to your life's purpose. Um, this eclipse season is directly to do with your destiny. So this is a very important um, time for you, Leos. Um, yeah. So spirit wants you to most definitely in this next two weeks, get out in nature. Um, ground yourself with Mother Gaia. Get your feet in the grass. Walk on the beach. Go to a, a creek or, you know, a lake, the ocean, whatever. Um, visit water. Water is such a healing, such a healing um, vice that we can use to flush out that negative, negative Nancy energy. Um, yeah, he showed me walking around in the grass, um, just barefoot. Um, bending down and running your hands through sand or in water. This is very important for you guys to get grounded and stay grounded, especially for like, like your mental health issues um, or not issues, but your mental health, uh, because you're going to be very emotionally recharged, depleted, recharged, depleted. So this is very important to keep you grounded. When you're walking around in nature, um, do it barefoot and imagine it in your mind that you have roots that are growing and go down to the center of the um, universe and wrap around and come back up. Um, and then just picture yourself flushing all that negativity out into the ground. Mother Gaia takes it, she recycles it, she recharges it and sends it back up to you with positive um, energy. So make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're de-stressing every day because this is a very, like I said, emotionally charged time for you guys. And it's very important. Um, during this time, yeah, during this time you're being guided. I see, uh, angels, they are guiding you to your life path. Um, during this time in this energy, um, out in nature or in your quiet, sacred space, wherever, reflect. This is an important reflection time for you guys. Really reflect on where you've come from, how far you've come, what you've accomplished, what you still have left to do, um, where you're at at this point in time, and just see your timeline and how it's played out this far. Now is the time to make changes for the future of what you want to accomplish, what you want to gain, what you want to do with your life. Um, because you still have places yet to go. This energy directly is opening a door that has something to do with your guys' destiny. It is very important. Your life path is taking you where it needs to take you at this time. So if there's external changes um, happening, go with the flow. Because these external changes are happening because of internal changes that you've made and you didn't even realize it. And vice versa. Um, Divine timing is really guiding you. Just take this time to reflect and ground. Reflect on your life and ground yourself. And allow your path to take you where it's meant to take you. Don't fight it. Don't 
try to keep things from happening. Don't stress about things that haven't happened yet or something that happened last week. Um, it's really just time to reflect and more importantly, set your intentions for where you want to go. Um, yeah. Um, your dreams and your subconscious life are becoming very active. Um, get lots of sleep because your dreams, um, sleep, I mean, this is when you're getting your downloads. This is when you're getting your guidance. Um, your dreams are just so active. Just make sure you, uh, meditate to, to, um, maintain that mental stability. Uh, spirituality is going to be such a huge focus for you guys the next two weeks, especially until the 23rd. Um, you want to make amends for your past, um, your spiritual failings. You're seeking divine intervention and it's the perfect time because the divine is seeking you as well, putting you in your path. Um, yeah, if you're single, um, you guys are going to be forging relationships in the next couple weeks. Uh, and this is just because your personal allure, your attraction, your magnetism, you guys are gaining self-confidence and it's beautiful. Um, there's like an instant attraction with some of you, uh, these new people you are meeting if you're single, um, during the retrograde time, be cautious of getting into serious relationships, but still go out there and have fun. It's only a couple weeks. So, um, for those of you who are already in a partnership, make sure you're reviewing those and see if those partnerships are exactly what you want in life. Make sure they are um, serving you to uh, what you want, what you need out of life. Um, because if if they're falling short or um, what have you, it's time to move forward. Um, cut them free, cut yourself free so that you both can move into the life path that you're meant to move into. And I see this isn't going to be a brutal breakup. It's kind of, once you speak up, your partner is going to agree and it's going to be a mutual agreement and you will remain friends. Um, or not friends, but you'll get along. Some, some of you, you have somebody in your immediate space. This is somebody that you thought you could trust. This is somebody you thought you could tell anything to that you could rely on. And now in the next two weeks, they are going to it looks like use it against you. They're going to, um, yeah, they're going to betray you in some way and use what you told them in, um, confidence that they wouldn't repeat it. They're going to use that in a negative way. Cut this person out of your life. This isn't the type of people you need in your space. Anyways, this is one of those things that is happening to get you in your life path, to get you into a direction you're meant to be. Um, a lot of you in the next two weeks are going to be accepting challenges. Uh, when you accept these challenges, you're going to excel and blessings are going to come pouring in for you guys. Um, it looks like you guys are regaining balance. You're no longer juggling. You're no longer having to, um, Divide up your energy. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are finding balance. And in that balance, you guys have co someone coming back for you. For a group of you, this is Twin Flame Soulmate Life Partner. These are someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Um, they're returning. And your relationships are going to be very powerful. Um the 14th, the 14th is important or significant to, um, some of you. Um, if, if the number 14 resonates with you, this is a twin flame or soulmate. Um, yeah, they're showing me 14, 14, 19 and 30th. So if those dates, you know, mean something with you and your twin flame, 
um, and that person returns in the next two weeks, that's confirmation that this is your twin flame. Um, the 23rd is going to be explosive for relationships. This energy is just going to rush in and people are returning. Um, they're returning with truth, clarity, honesty, and new beginnings. So that is a very exciting for you, Leos. Uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, you guys have kind of shifted your focus from like career work to more family happiness to, uh, emotional stability. You're letting your career take a back seat for now. Uh, you're more concerned about family happiness, emotional contentment. Yeah, a lot of you are working in the humanitarian field, um, volunteering. This is amazing. This is amazing uh, shift in consciousness and emotions. We are starting to realize that money cannot buy happiness. And what money does do is steal away our time with our families, our loved ones, because everybody's wants to be a, uh, successful. Everybody wants to have lots of money. So you can have the house, the boat, the two and a half kids and a lake house. You know, they're so concerned about being able to afford what they want, that what they realize once they have all those belongings is what they really wanted isn't there anymore because they were ignored while you were making the money. Um, you guys are realizing this. You guys are um, realizing that true wealth, that true prosperity is not in the form of currency. It's in the form of love, family, um, friends, memories, moments. It's all coming to the surface for you. It's all becoming clear. You are awakening to the power of love, to the power of having someone to spend the rest of your life with because money can't, money can't do that. Money don't keep you warm at night in bed. Money doesn't, you know, it's just, you guys are really, really getting a grasp on that. So you are more concentrating in the next two weeks on family happiness. Um, really, this is such a beautiful feeling of just the amazement, the, that you feel after spending the next two weeks really concentrating on your family and friends, um, you're going to realize that that's all you really wanted all along. Um, be strong though, uh, for some of you, because others are really trying to, um, shove their opinion down your throat. Um, they're really trying to use their thoughts, their ideas for their own personal gain through you. So make sure you hold strong to your opinion, your thoughts, your wants, your needs, because somebody is going to try to gain something out of your using you to get it. Um, you guys are just, this energy is so good for you guys. You are highly attractive. Your self-esteem, your self-worth is just through the roof. Um, you're able to accomplish Yeah, you're able to uh, accomplish personal. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I just went blank. Personal. You're able to get what you need personally, <laughs> like, you know, your wants, your, you know, your dreams, because you are very charismatic this month, very people oriented this month. Um, and you're going to realize that there's a lot of people in your close circle that, um, have the same wants and needs as you in life. And you're really going to make good friendships in the next couple of weeks. Um, like I said, you're so self-confident. You're like a, you're like a magnet right now, Leo's, um, you're going to experience true happiness in life in the next couple of weeks. If you take that time to reflect, to ground yourself, to, um, really put down on paper where you've been, where you're at and where you want to go. And those energies are going to come into you um, because you have that powerful shift in consciousness in your spirituality and putting you right on the right path. Um,
you guys are really, you're really facing imp impediments in life easily. There will be, there will be impasse and inaction though in your life that you're going to have to deal with and you're going to have to deal with it with serenity. Yeah. Um, go with the flow. You know, we can't force anything. We are all about divine timing. We don't, a lot of us don't realize that, but the more you try to control a situation, the more out of control you feel because the universe is going to be like, uh-uh, we work on my watch and it's not time yet. So once you get through this time of reflection, I can't, I cannot say this enough. Once you get through this time of reflection, you guys are going to awaken to a beautiful new level of um, consciousness. Uh, you guys are going to gain emotional strength, emotional happiness. Um, this is so very important. Get out and get out in mother nature, get out and, um, you know, go sit under a tree at the park, you know, with your shoes off and just sit there and think, clear out your mind. Um, yeah, meditate and, you know, not med a lot of people think meditation is, you know, in the Lotus position, you know, humming, you're not, you're not, I'm not asking you to do that in the local park, but, um, you know, you can meditate in so many different ways. Uh, listening to music is one of my favorite meditations because I can clear my mind of my day and especially when I'm in a car. So like there's different forms of meditation, but really just go spend some real time in nature these next couple of weeks and reflect. Take this time to reflect and you guys will not believe the change you have. And that after this energy, um, the 23rd is going to be amazing for relationships for you guys. Um, but right now spirit is more concerned about getting you on the right path. You are being led by angels. You are in divine guidance, divine protection. And most importantly, this energy is opening your door to destiny. So be aware. Um, and you're going to be aware in the form of when you're reflecting, reflecting, get plenty of rest these next two weeks. You are getting uh, downloads in your sleep dreams. Your dreams are so active right now. They are telling you something. Make sure you're keeping a dream journal. Um, and you, oh my God, you guys just see me shuffling. So, um, keep a dream journal. Answers are coming to you in your dreams. Um, here's your card for the next two weeks. The dream walker. Dreams, the collective good, and illusions. Oops, excuse me. Um, these are Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Barrett Reed's uh, cards, and they are the most beautiful cards. I just love them. But um, as you see that angel up there on the um, rock in the middle of the ocean, uh, this is just reminding you that dreams really do come true. So I'm going to go ahead and read out of the book for this card, just because that's what um, Spirit just told me to do. Usually I give my own messages, but this one um, is an important message for you guys. So um, it says, when the dream walker is your ally dreams and all that you want or have the possibility of coming to you now. Still, there are two kinds, those of the small self and those of the divine. Spirit has a dream for you that is yours alone, and all you need to do is ask, and it'll unfold like magic. You also play an important and unique part in the divine dreaming of the world. When you ask, is this the dream for me, that I serve the, great, that I serve the greater dream, the most beautiful vision of your life, serves the highest good for others too. Just the act of asking will immediately provide the answer. The dream walker is beside you to help you move effortlessly through the illusions, observing the truth and celebrating the walking dream that your life is about to become in the reality. So yeah, very important message in the next two weeks. Get plenty of rest. Keep a dream journal. Your answers are coming in the form of your dreams. Your angels are there. You guys are 
being guided to your destiny. You guys are having doors open that is directly related to your destiny. And your life path is about to um, take a whole new direction. So make sure you are meditating, grounding. If you're not grounded, you will not be led on this path. You have to um, ground and protect yourself. Uh, clear your mind and be one with Mother Earth. Get out there and get out there with no shoes on. It's not that it's not that hard to do. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. So I hope you guys enjoy these channeled messages from Spirit. Um, your life is about to be um, your dream come true. So prepare, get ready for it, reflect, rest, recover, and your dreams are going to be coming true. So as always, Leos, I so appreciate you coming to my channel. Um, go ahead and comment below the video. Um, let me know what you guys are up to, if this resonated. Um, if you have any questions in regards to my reading, um, I will try to uh, start answering you guys um, as much as I can. So go ahead and comment below, like the videos. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you walking with me on my spiritual journey. Without you, it wouldn't be possible. Love, light, and God bless.